I'll never forget that. Uh, that was a picture perfect moment when Farm Rescue comes rolling in with their big tractor and planter, and this was the crew. Those guys drove all the way up from Iowa to Fargo at their own expense. You know, they left their families to come up here and help somebody they didn't even know uh, to get their crop in the ground. But it was like the cavalry was showing up. That was a pretty cool sight. Yeah. I threw out my hand to, to shake Jim's hand, and, and I, got a, I got a big old hug. He was grateful for us being there. We hadn't even done anything yet. So in that moment, I realized that we're not just here to lend a helping hand. We're here to really touch a family's lives and get them back on their feet. It's hard to see a, a father in pain when his, his child's been hurt. It drove you to want to do more. We, we were there on a, a, a mission to get their crop planted. And we, we were going to do that at all costs. It was about helping someone heal. It wasn't looking good. I didn't know if I could walk ever again. I was uh, attempting to unload some cattle panels on top of a flatbed trailer. Then the load that landed right on my uh, back, shattering my T12 in my spine. For a while there, I was just down in the dumps, and uh, I only got outside to walk a couple times and when Farm Rescue showed up. I didn't want to stop being with them and hanging out with them. They really got me moving and got me more motivated to, to just get better. And you, you saw the progression of Garrett. He was out with us the whole time having fun and watching us office boys out there, you know, uh, getting ranchy with the cows. <laughs> Seeing Garrett smile again was the probably the best piece of it. We connected in all sorts of ways and they really, they really felt like family to me. We've developed relationships with a family that will be there forever. By getting to know them on that personal level, you, you just wanted to work that much harder. I can tell you this, I mean, with this team, we get the job done. And we don't quit until it does get done. We were a week or so from the deadline for when the crop needed to be in the ground. We planted at night every day <laughs> because that wasn't an option. There was one day I jumped on the tractor in the morning and I refused to leave it until that field was done. There were definitely some, some times where we were doubting ourselves, doubting our own abilities. Uh -oh. We actually saw a storm rolling in, and I may have had 200 more yards to go, and the planter tubes were getting empty, and so when the guys ran and filled up three five-gallon buckets full of seed, ran it out to us on the gator, and that got me just enough to get to the end of the field. Every day I look at that crop, I'm, I think of Farm Rescue and uh, reminds me to be thankful to them daily. I'd love to you know, help somebody else in need and pay it forward to the next person because they sure helped us out. Well, they absolutely changed our lives too. To be able to contribute to help a family get back on their feet and you know, know that they're going to pay it forward to another family and you know, one day that could be our family. It's easy to say, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to donate some money, but you don't always see exactly what happens. And I, I, I was out there for a week, and I saw exactly what happened. I saw exactly how we changed this family's life. And I saw what they did for us, too. We got the opportunity to, to build relationships with the family. We got an opportunity to build relationships with coworkers and, and friends. And the question I would ask is, what's stopping? If you're willing to work hard, you're willing to get your hands dirty, you're willing to learn, then, then you can do this. You can absolutely come out and help a farm family in need. The time is now.